Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. For those guys who like to split the bills with their girlfriends, I'm sorry, what's wrong with you? Restaurant menus were designed to be paid by men. That's why it's called menu, not woman you. Just think about it. I really don't have to. You think about it. What's wrong with me? Yeah, nice try. How about this? I pay for the bill and you pay for the menu. I am such an idiot. The sweetest guy just approached me in Woolworth. It's a Monday morning, doing my grocery shopping to do my juicing. And he came up to me and he goes, excuse me, miss, I just wanted to stop you and tell you that you were so beautiful and I would love to get your number to take you out. And my instant reaction was, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I have a boyfriend. Which is not true. I don't know why I said that. I'm actually kicking myself for saying I have, I do not have a boyfriend. I'm not talking to anyone, but my like instant reaction, because no one's ever done that to me before, I like froze and was like, I'm so sorry, I have a boyfriend. And he's like, oh, that's really sad, but like, you never know if you don't try. And I'm like, yeah, I really admire you for like coming up and talking. Like, thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. And he's like, you too, miss, like all the best. Ah! <laughs> Why did I tell him I had a boyfriend when I don't? Ugh. What is, this is why I'm single. This is why I'm single. Yeah, probably. This is also what happens when you're listening to all those videos on TikTok where men should not approach women. There you go. Now, obviously, there's no way on telling how future interaction would have worked, but at least you're never gonna know. This is one of those things where I feel like you just need to take my word for it so you don't have to go through it yourself. But the biggest gaslight for women ever is that struggling to build together or being his day one somehow makes us more attractive. And I think as women, we really need to stop with this narrative that the willingness to be poor to stick by his side and build with him is going to make us more loved and cherished because it doesn't. I need you to burn this into your head. There is no reward for struggling together. It's not going to make you more loved. It's not going to make you more cherished. It's not going to make him more loyal. And it doesn't guarantee that he was going to stick around if and when he makes it. Don't date for potential thinking that you're going to live good later. If you're choosing to date for potential, make it a conscious decision so you understand exactly what you're choosing and what you're giving up and understand that the life you think you will have with him might not even exist. Some men will appreciate you for sticking by his side through the rough times, but it will rarely ever be the reason as to why he's choosing to stay with you. They like to think that they will, but the struggle doesn't equate to long-term happiness or the longevity of a relationship. So girl, don't be stupid. Never ever let yourself be treated less than what you deserve just because he's building. That should be independent of his financial standing. How he treats you should be consistently shown through his effort and his actions from the very beginning. And never stop leveling up and working on yourself and making the time to take care of yourself just because you're too busy building with him. You have to always be your number one priority. And I'm also gonna be my number one priority and our relationship will come, what, third? Yeah, what a good advice. And that will give us maybe three months or maybe more. But in the first three months, when that physical attraction is on the highest and when we can't keep our hands off each other, everything is gonna work out great. But when that slows down, I'll give us one more month and we'll be complete strangers. So yeah, sure, we can do this. I can do three or four months easily. But after that, don't start complaining three or four months is all you get. Next question is, does dating seem harder for this generation? Why is that? Unfortunately, I think the dating scene um, can be looked at as pretty toxic right now. And I think the reason why is because dating has lost its charm and it is a lot of games and it's a lot of toxic behaviors that I think people are feeling like they're being forced into doing. <laughs> That's new. Who's forcing you into dating? You're right about toxic and we've just heard it. Don't be his day one. Well, if that's the mindset you're going into dating with, you're never going to be his last day. You're only gonna be something in between until he's gonna find his day one. When someone asks me why I'm still single, I would rather swim naked in the Amazon River 
and feast on the most poisonous of things, taking my chances, than I would to have to deal with another narcissist. If you don't need your diaper change, I'm single. You're still single? I never would have guessed that. But still, why are you single? Nah, that was rhetorical, don't worry about it. My real question is, why is it that all of you angels, goddesses and queens want to swim naked? Is it because you think that will keep the narcissist away? I am in fact being curious about this. Modern dating sucks. Here is how I would fix it. Hey guys, I'm Alana, I am a dating expert. I used to run Hinge's social media and I am the host of the podcast, Seeing Other People. If I had a magic wand and could change things about modern dating, here is what I would do. Number one, ghosting would be illegal. Number two, no more than 10 options a day on dating apps. Otherwise we burn out, we get too overwhelmed, there are too many options, and we're not being intentional with our swipes. Number three, it would be mandatory for your honest intentions to be shared upfront. Number four, no social media or texting until you're in a relationship. This is what reality dating shows get right because there are no games that way. And number five, number five, everyone would feel empowered to make the first move or send the text or ask them out. I think we all want that. Check out this week's episode. I expand on all of these. I will not, but I have to say I've heard way worse. Not really sure getting rid of ghosting would help anyone, but maybe it will. I will take it a step further though. Get rid of dating apps altogether. Make it so you can post half-naked pictures on social media. Get rid of the ability to send or receive DMs. And that right there is the reason why I should never have a magic wand. I would make it way worse than what it is today. Alright, this one's about my Am I even allowed to use that word on TikTok? It's not going to be used in a derogatory way. So it's the first week of me getting to know a guy, right? First week, I think we went on, yeah, maybe one date, saw each other in real life twice. Things are going great. We're really connecting, or so I thought. I decided that I was going to abstain from sex about five or six months ago. If this is too much for the children on TikTok, it's not, because I'm going to serve as an example of what it looks like to actually wait for the person who's going to love and respect you. Back to my story. So the conversation gets brought up and I explain to this new man that I'm seeing that I am not going to have intercourse with anyone that I'm not in love with or that I'm not in a committed long-term relationship with. Not a big deal, there's other people in the world doing the same thing. But his response to me is why this video exists. So out of curiosity, he decides to question my value and decision as far as this goes, which okay, no problem, I can give you insight. But then he says, I'm just wondering why you're so old school. Dude, it's the first week. Not only that, I think it was the third time that we'd hung out. That makes me old school. Perfect. Please take me back to the 70s. Like he thought that this was abnormal. I know, right? I don't say this often, but men and their audacity. Well, actually, I'm not gonna say it in this case either. I don't know how he saw you as old school, cause we have it right here. You're telling us everything about you right here. Down to earth and always smiling. I'm a fitness enthusiast who promotes whatever else. And we can get all that for $15 a month. Old school? <laughs> you cannot make this up. Question for the guys. She's a 10, but she believes in astrology. Now what is she? She is cuckoo. Now let me be polite. She is a complete stranger. Or she is someone else's problem. Alright, let me read what she said. When you meet that person that everyone loves, but you're a therapist and you can spot the red flags from a mile away. Alright, so let me guess. Everyone is obviously wrong and you are not because you're a therapist. And here's your proof why everyone going to therapy doesn't get any better. Men should go to therapy? <laughs> why? So you can meet her? <laughs> nah, I'm gonna pass on that. What's going on here? What did you see? I saw you downstairs eating an apple. Good boy. And that right there is how you live a healthy lifestyle. Anyway, this is going to be the end of the video. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.